Marcus Conti reporting just back from the courthouse in St. George, Staten Island. I shot a video out front, and it was just like a little shaky, and it started to rain on me. So this is a retake of the, uh, of the video that I shot on the steps of St. George Courthouse, Supreme Court in Staten Island, New York, right? I was there to see uh, Anthony Camillo, the QAnon killer, had his day in court today, another day in court, where the lawyers and the prosecution argued over discovery, over various items that were uh, to be discovered. And the, the defense, Mr. Gottlieb, Robert Gottlieb, who I've interviewed a few times on the show, uh, well, out, out, in front of the, out in front of the courthouse, uh, his, the premise of his defense is that Anthony Camillo is innocent by mental defect in that he was so far down the Q rabbit hole that he didn't know what he was doing. That he he was that he believed that that Frankie Cali was deeply involved without any evidence that he was deeply involved with the deep state a deep state conspiracy to overthrow Donald Trump or whoever. Uh, now is are gangsters involved in shady shit? <laughs> of course they are. Is it? But is it the definition of Q? This deep state, you know, the CIA and the FBI, as Q would like you to believe. No, it isn't. So let, let me just let me just tell you what I what I know. I was inside and uh, I'll show you some pictures. I didn't get any. I got some shots outside, but this is essentially what he looked like. He has a thicker beard. He was wearing the same suit, and um, this is who he shot. This is Frankie Cali. That's Frankie Cali. That's how you go out and uh, gangsters. Each gangster grabs uh, grabs puts a hand on the box and let's go. Right, and uh, there he is with his Q hand, sat in uh, court. That was a one-time. That was a one-time thing, by the way. But it did. Uh, uh, it it basically framed the entire uh, defense, the direction of the defense. Right, so, so QAnon killer, united we stand. United we stand, MAGA forever. Uh, so, what did we learn? So he's he's in court today. Uh, there looked like there was some family members there. There was a couple extra people there for a change. Uh, keep that private. I mean, it just it seemed like he had some family there. So, uh, Robert Gottlieb is his attorney, and this guy right here is the attorney, and he was asking for discovery. Now, the the people, the prosecution has uh, offered a pile of discovery today. On floppy disks, so Gottlieb didn't get a chance. His lawyer, the Kunal Kill's lawyer, didn't get a chance to see it yet. So what he wants is not only the the downloads of Camillo's uh, laptop and his telephone, but he also wants the actual laptop and the telephone so that he can do a forensic study. The people have not provided him that as of yet, and the judge said, "Well, what do you need that for? You got a copy." And he says, well, there's different ways to fudge, you know, fudge information or extract information from a hard drive. And uh, we'd like to have our experts take a look at it. So he fought pretty hard for that. Um, he also, Gottlieb, uh, Robert Gottlieb, fought hard for Anthony Camillo to get the search warrant inventory of Frankie Cali's house. Uh, so not, not, not uh, the search warrant for... Anthony Camillo, the shooter's house, but Frankie Cali, the guy who he shot, the Gambino crime boss, crime boss, right? get a get a warrant for his the inventory of his car and his house. Why? You say, why would you want that? Because Mr. Gottlieb, quote, we know Mr. Cali had a gun. Right? Now there's there is video also in this discovery. And the sad news is that Mr. Gottlieb got slapped with a with a uh, a gag order. <laughs> I'll tell you about it in a second. So this is the only way we're going to get information on this case is by showing up into court and and finding out more about it, right? So so Mr. Gottlieb wants to see the inventory of what the prosecution found in Mr. Cali, the deceased man's house. There was also uh, talk about. Several people were moving from the car to the house. 
while this, this whole episode was apparently going on. Now, the bottom line is that, according to Mr. Gottlieb, the attorney, he said that the reason for, for, for uh, Anthony Camillo's visit to Frankie Cali was to make a citizen's arrest because he believed he was a deep state operative. Right? That's, the, that's the, the, uh, the essence of why Camillo was in front of the Gambino crime boss's house with a nine millimeter stock, not, you know, with a loaded nine millimeter gun and ultimately unloaded on the Godfather. Now, if, 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 Frankie Cali had a gun. If there was a gun on the scene, then you could make a case that it was self-defense. And then you could only try Camillo for the gun. Right? But we don't know that. So the next court appearance to decide on will, will the attorney, Robert Gottlieb, get what he wants, which is uh, a full inventory of what was found in Frankie Cali's house. And... Um, the people, uh, the attorneys, the prosecutors said, quote, no weapons were found in the car or in the home. That's what they said. So now we'll see if it's, if it's true. So on Wednesday, September 18, a decision on discovery, the judge will make a discovery. But what, what is insane about this is that the prosecutor and Robert Gottlieb were hit with a gag order meaning that if they talk about this case in terms of opinion, in terms of discussion outside of the courthouse on the street, that they can be held in contempt of court. Now, now I've never seen that happen before, but what do I know? It sounds like it's unprecedented. And this judge said this case will be tried in this court, not out on the street and not, in, not, not on email. So that's pretty heavy, man. That was a pretty heavy... Um, a pretty heavy uh, discussion. Now, here's what I want to know, right? Here's, here's what I want to know. So just look at the dates. Just humor me on the dates, right? So March, March 13th, March 13th, 2019, Anthony Camillo guns down the gate five week, five months ago to the day. Uh, Anthony Camillo guns down the Gambino crime boss in front of his house. The, 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 um, and then two days later, on March 15th, the um, New Zealand shooting occurs, right? The New Zealand shooting occurred two days after. I want to know if there's a social media connection. Were they communicating? They seem to have the same ideology, same QAnon theory, same deep state is behind everything mentality, both about the same age, both white, both communicating heavily on social media, making connections on social media. Only, only uh, uh, Camillo's laptop is going to tell us where exactly he was. And that, that is now in the possession, allegedly in the possession of Camillo's lawyer. Uh, so then, just this week, two weeks ago, this week and two weeks ago, El Paso, Texas shooter, Dayton, Ohio shooter, Garlic Festival shooter, all the same MO, same white, angry, left manifestos of sorts, all said that they were somehow connected to, you know, fighting, you know, fighting the deep, fighting the deep state on behalf of the establishment or Trump or whatever, right? Some kind of crazy shit like that, right? So what I want to know, and what I would have asked uh, the attorney today, but he can't answer because he's got a gag order, is that I would have asked him, I was like, do you see, is there a connection between the New Zealand, did the New Zealand, um, did the New Zealand shooter and Anthony Camillo were they communicating in in such a way, or or connected in some way online, on a QAnon site? That's what I want to know. That's what I would have asked them. And as do you think that that stems into the other shooters? Because I do. <laughs> That's what I think. I think that it is a. It is a, a uh, mental defect. See, that's what the, the lawyer is trying to get Anthony Camillo. Uh, it's guilty by reason of mental defect or, you know, a, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a, um, a, uh, insanity plea, basically. Right? But innocent because 
he was following this this insane rabbit hole, go down the rabbit hole. Uh, so that that's where we're at right now. So I guess there's not going to be much more uh, information on this unless I'm there talking about it because the again the attorney has issued a gag order. No more no more nice discussions on the uh, steps of the uh, courthouse talking directly with the attorney. So that's that's pretty much you know over now. So we'll see. You know the next as I said the next the next hearing will be Wednesday September 18. And um, if they go to trial, we're going to hear a whole whole lot of stuff, man, because there is, there's there's got to be a connection in there, right? There's definitely a connection. This kid is saying that that's how he that's what inspired him. He was doing the will of Donald Trump. He was rescuing the rescuing the people from the deep state. He was making citizens arrest on the Gambino crime boss, the the uh, Adam Schiff, you know, uh, Bill De Blasio, <laughs> old deep state operatives, right? Guys going fucking crazy trying to trying to round everybody up for for the people, so so that's where we're at right now. So we'll see. You know, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It looks uh, it looks pretty it looks pretty uh, like it's going to get interesting. If this hits a trial, I, I mean, if this starts to air out in open court, it's going to be pretty heavy. But I think there will be a heated discussion uh, in light of a trial. If even if there isn't a trial, there'll still be a heated discussion in that courtroom between the prosecutor. Uh, uh, Robert Gottlieb, who did a great job, in my view, of of uh, voicing his his client's uh, uh, position and and engaging the judge uh, to give him the goddamn discovery. So, Marcus Conti, reporting, still reporting.